My name is Ross McKenzie, and uh, I, in terms of my education background, I actually went to the University of Alberta, took a Bachelor of Science degree in soil science and plant science, and then continued on and did a Master's degree in soil science. And that uh, led me to the University of Saskatchewan, and I did a PhD in a kind of a combination of soil fertility, soil chemistry, and plant nutrition. So um, I've had uh, a long interest in uh, soils and crops and, and how to manage crops. And uh, ESN is a very interesting product in that uh, basically it's just urea and it's actually just coated with a plastic coating. And that's really just a polymer. The, the, what most people don't realize is actually a porous. So for ESN to work successfully, it needs to be in moist soil. And water will actually be fused through that porous membrane to dissolve the urea. And then that uh, urea dissolved in water will then be fused back out. So basically, it allows that fertilizer to be released slowly over time. And uh, leaching tends to occur when you have uh, that fertilizer converted over to nitrate. Nitrate's negatively charged, or it can't be held by the soil. So when you have excess precipitation, then that nitrate fertilizer will tend to uh, move downward in the soil, soil, soil profile, and perhaps quite even out of the, uh, the root zone in the worst case scenario. So really over a range of soils, whether they're uh, coarse like sandy soils, loma soils which are medium textured, or, or clay soils which are fine textured, ESN can be a fit for all of those, uh, depending on the mechanism of loss. So, for on a sandy soil, if the farmer is more concerned about leaching, uh, ESN can certainly have a, a very strong place in terms of reducing that leaching potential. In terms of denitrification, uh, that tends to be more of a problem in our medium and fine textured soils, where we have higher clay content. And so, where denitrification is an issue, often in June, ESN can also have a, a place there. So, uh, across a range of soil texture, ESN can have a um, a very good benefit. Well, probably the big advantage of ESN, and the ESN is like stands for environmentally smart nitrogen, probably the, the biggest advantage is it does allow for protection of that fertilizer. And that's good from a farmer from a farmer standpoint, but it's also good from an environmental standpoint. The more we can reduce nitrate leaching into groundwater, and the more we can reduce uh, denitrification and loss of uh, nitrous oxide back to the atmosphere, that has a huge uh, environmental uh, 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 benefit as well. And really with ESN, we're still, it sounds like we've done a lot of work with ESN, which we have, but I, I foresee a lot, of more, a lot more work being done in the future and maybe new prototypes being developed in the future so we can just be even just that much more uh, environmentally conscious and, and more efficient at using fertilizers in the future. So I, I really see good things uh, in, in the future for uh, products like ESN.